Jungkook leaned back in his office chair, rubbing his temples as he tried to focus on the report in front of him. The day had been long and stressful. With back-to-back meetings, as he glanced at the clock, he realized it was already past 7 p.m. The thought of going back home to his wife, the only thing keeping him going. The drive home was a blur of city lights. He parked the car and made his way to the front door. The familiar warmth of the home instantly lifting his spirits. As soon as he stepped inside, the aroma of dinner cooking greeted him. He could hear wine humming softly in the kitchen. The voice already melting him from inside out. Jungkook, love, I'm back. Wine appeared in the doorway, a bright smile lighting up her face. Wine. Welcome home, love, she said, crossing the room to embrace him. The tension in his shoulders melted away as soon as he wrapped his arms around her. Jungkook, I missed you, he murmured into her hair, breathing into her familiar scent. Wine. I miss you too. You look tired. How was your day? Jungkook, long and stressful, but seeing you makes it all better. Voyan, look at you buttering. She chuckled, but both of them knew how he truly meant those words. Ryan, come on, dinner's almost ready, she said, taking his hand and leading him to the kitchen. The table was already set and the sight of it made Jungkook heart swell with gratitude. As they sat down to eat, Wine filled their plates with a delicious meal as she had prepared. Wyan, I made your favorite, she said, a hint of pride in her voice. Jungkook, you are my favorite too. Shall I eat you as well? Wine, oh god, not in front of my food. He chuckled and pulled her on his lap instead. Jungkook, this is exactly what I needed. He started to eat and wine loved how every time he ate so nicely and with full cheeks, also feeding her in between. After dinner, Jungkook helped wine clear the table and wash the dishes enjoying the simple domesticity of the task. Once everything was clean and put away, Wine turned around to find Jungkook looking at her with a mischievous grin. Before she could ask what he was up to, he lifted her effortlessly and placed her on top of the table. Voyan, what are you doing? She laughed, her eyes wide with surprise. Jungkook, I have some amazing news. I'll end it the biggest client our firm has ever had.
he exclaimed, his eyes sparkling with pride. Jungkook, it's going to be a game changer for us, Wayan. Wayan's face lit up with joy. Wine, Jungkook, that's incredible. I'm so proud of you, she said, wrapping her arms around his neck and pulling him into a hug. Jungkook, there's more. The deal comes with a hefty bonus, which means we can finally go on that vacation you have been dreaming about. Her eyes widened up even more. Fine. No way. Really? She squealed in excitement and disbelief. Fine. You're so big. I want to spin you around. He laughed and picked her up instead and spun her around. She laughed out of joy and that was all he ever hit needed to hear. He put her back down on the table and she kissed his cheek. There was no limit to her excitement. The way she already started deciding things she wanted to do and places she wanted to visit. And Jungkook joined in, letting her have all the happiness. Ryan, okay, help me choose. Bali, Paris, Rome. Jungkook, how about all three? Vine, what? But Jungkook says too much and it will be quite expensive. It's just one vacation. No, no, no. We'll stick to one. Jungkook, love, I said we'll visit all the three places, alright? It's final. Vine, this is... Oh God. She bawled her fist happily and wiggled around. Jungkook laughed at that and kissed her head. If he was going to see their smile and happiness, he swore he would have given the word for it.